today we are going to be creating a kind of a gooey effect with n particles kind of liquid flowing so we'll see how we can do that so i'm going to take a simple cube this will be uh, acting as my collider so we'll try to create something interesting with this cube very quickly so i'm going to mask this quickly and let's take some grid and i'm going to make this two two and two and uh, the distribution will be somewhere about two two and two i guess let's close this down and let me just so harden the edge all right so i'm going to take one more node that will be a random node and uh, let's rotate these first and the position will be somewhere about 0 0.2 0 0.2 and 0.2 right all right there you go so i think this looks pretty good i'm going to select the main cube and if you can't see it all you have to do is go to the display and turn off the visibility and i'm going to go into the poly modeling you can take the bevel from here or you can go to uh, edit mesh and i think there should be a bevel here and from here i'm going to make the fraction to about maybe fraction one and segment to maybe 12. this will just add some smoothness to it let's make it two yeah all right, so go, going back to the mesh, let's quickly hide this again and turn off the visibility. Going back to the mesh, uh, we'll go to the random here. And uh, since we have already played a lot with random, uh, playing with this kind of parameters wouldn't be an issue for a lot of you guys. And from here, I'm going to take an offset node here just so I can offset this to a different value just so we'll have more randomness with the scale and everything all right so this looks good now if you want to change anything all you have to do is just change some seeds and you're good to go so i think this looks pretty good but let's try to have something more all right so this is uh looking a bit more nicer so i'm gonna go with this and uh, maybe like change the overall scale to maybe like point one all right so once you're done with this all you have to do is delete the history free transforms and to pivot so the no uh, the mesh mash no longer works here now we have our normal object so let's make this as mash now once you're done with this uh, all you have to do is bring this out let's go to our fx menu and let's take our n particle and bring our particle higher bring this higher bring this higher as well so if i play this we have our normal particles all right so a couple of things that we should do the first thing is instead of blobby surface i'm going to change this to spheres and i'm going to take a constant color which will be let's keep it blue and um, in the collision self collide this turned on and particle size to maybe like 0.1 maybe even lesser 0 0.06 i think this looks good and in the emitter i'm going to make this a thousand particle rate per second all right so let's see how this is looking this is looking quite good uh, i'm gonna bring this a bit higher all right so select this go to n cloth passive collider all right so this is acting as a collider but uh, the other issue that we have is the particle are going deep into the space so we need some kind of colliding geometry as well so i'm going to go to the nucleus and check the ground plane as use plane so now if i play this the particles stay on top of the floor all right so next thing is this is not exactly looking that slimy uh, that kind of a liquidy so the first thing that we have to do is uh, go to the overall collision here and increase the stickiness to maybe two and just try it out so here you will notice that we are getting pretty nice result so i'm going to reduce the stickiness to maybe like one uh, and bounciness to complete zero and friction to maybe like 0.6 now let's play this again all right so now it's looking pretty good okay so the next thing that we have to do is we have a very interesting thing in our end particle section that is liquid simulation now this will make the particle act as if they were a liquid particle so if i click this click on this you'll have much natural behaving liquid going on so here you can change the viscosity level i'm gonna add some viscosity here to maybe like 0.2 so this is how you'll get more amount of liquidy flowing motion 
and just to add some randomness i'm going to take a turbulence let's keep it to five and noise level to one okay there you go i'm gonna quickly uh, increase the size here to maybe something like this and let's bring this up as well and from here let's play this again okay i think the overall timeline is a bit too small for this i'm gonna make this 500 and yeah there you go all right so this is looking quite good if you want to change anything or let's say if you are done with this i'm just gonna change the overall uh, look of my cubes and let's cast this if you want to cast this if you want to see how this is looking in real time what you can do is go to end catch create new catch and here you'll find an object and my fluid so you have to click on the end object and you'll be good to go all right so we are almost done here and there you go so our catching has been done and if you play this you will see that we have nice simulation of particle fluid going on and we can see our particles sliding here so here you'll notice that we have much stickiness much liquid formation going here so if you want you can always go back and change anything that you don't like uh, personally i think this is looking quite good you can see particles stacking here so one more thing if you are going to be rendering this um so i'm gonna just take a simple light here just so we can see this in ipr and draw hit j on your keyboard and let's rotate this and let's bring this out okay there you go so let's say if you are rendering this let me just make this diffuse to two so if you're rendering this instead of using uh, a normal spheres as particle in this uh, case what you can do is you can go to your shading and change this to blobby surface and uh, with that you see a uh, kind of a strange thing that is uh, a kind of a liquid particles the particles the sphere particles are kind of working as a metabol which is kind of giving us a liquidy feel or slimy feel so you you'll see that individual particles that are close by are kind of being connected as if they were metabols so this will just give you more better result regarding the overall liquid particle look because you also see that kind of particle uh, pattern here on top of here and with the layer stacking here as well so i think this will give a nice touch to your simulation so that's it and i've already covered a rendering video if anyone wants to see how you can create an image sequence out of it if you want to render an animation out of this so make sure to check that out it's a really simple rendering and a render sequence that's it so if you do create this or come up with something else, share with me on my Instagram. And that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video.